okay, I just, I kind of got to, I was thinking about this as I was just watching um, John Carpenter's Vampires. Now, I'd seen it many years ago, and it's uh, just like I remembered it in, in sort of good and bad ways. Uh, but when I had seen it before, I knew Cheryl Lee was in it, and I knew she was from Twin Peaks, but I hadn't had the same exposure of Twin Peaks as I've had in the subsequent... <laughs> how many decades it's been since I've seen this movie. Um, so, a couple of things. One, and it kind of ties in together. She was completely wasted in that movie. <laughs> she was... I mean, it's it's a cheesy as hell over the top movie. And she did a really good job in it, uh, as she always does. Which brings into my whole point of this is that Cheryl Lee deserved a better career. I you know I, some of it could have been maybe she didn't you know want to do or have this that or the other thing going on in her life or career. I don't know. I don't know her whole I, story idea anything else like that. I just know that her career. It, you know, if all was sort of fair and even, should have taken off way more than it did. Uh, her portrayal of Laura and also Maddie in uh, Twin Peaks, just the show was amazing. And let's just talk about Firewalk with me for a second. Now, Firewalk with me, okay, it might have sort of flopped or whatever because it didn't really have what people kind of wanted out of out of movie for the show or something like that but it is a really freaking good movie especially if you like Twin Peaks and you like David Lynch and even the whole like 90 minutes of extra stuff is actually pretty important and, and interesting too the point that ties this in here is that Cheryl Lee did fucking amazing in that movie everything she had to do everything that came that that was going on with Laura good bad everything like just just the crazy like almost multiple worlds that she was living in and trying to balance everything she did an amazing job at and like this intensity and break your heart kind of thing the entire damn movie now as much as I do like Silence of the Lambs it's a very excellent movie deserves all the sort of place in, in sort of film history that it is I'm I'm going to go out on a thing here. Jodie Foster should not have won Best Actress. Cheryl Lee should have won Best Actress. That was about the year it came out. I actually looked this up a few months ago because I was like, wait a minute. How did Cheryl Lee not get a goddamn Oscar for uh, her, her, her Laura in Twin Peaks Firewalk with me? How did she not get an Oscar? And I came to find out the person who won for that year was... Jodie Foster for Silence of the Lambs. Now again, I like Silence of the Lambs. Jodie Foster did an amazing job. It's an amazing movie. Everyone in it was really good. She did not at all have to do or have to contend with in that movie everything Cheryl Lee did in Firewalk With Me. Not only did Cheryl Lee had to contend with in Firewalk With Me, but knocked out of the fucking park. You know, as amazing an actress as Jodie Foster is, Clarice Sterling did not have to go through what Laura Palmer had to go through through Firewalk with me at all. And Cheryl Lee did a goddamn amazing job at it. So, there's no way my opinion or anything is ever going to change anything. It hasn't so far yet, <laughs> in uh, for, for many years. Uh, but just in general, anyway, like. Cheryl Lee's career should deserve she's such a good actress that she kind of deserved like a list sort of stardom with it I don't know if that's she, what she wanted or anything else I don't know anything about her life or any of that other stuff it's just her acting ability deserved a list status and again as much as I love Sansa of the Lambs and Jodie Foster's really good in it Cheryl Lee should have won that Oscar for that so and then which is interesting because then John Carpenter's Vampire I'm putting at my TV that you can't see so good on me so John Carpenter's Vampires came after that, and it was it was like, was that something she had to do to sort of survive as an actress in Hollywood? Was it supposed to be, oh, look, it's a John Carpenter movie, uh, so this would be like a big break? Like, I don't know, or if it was just, hey, this looks like fun, I'm going to do this anyway, it's going to be cool. 
you know, uh, who doesn't want to work with a not Alec Baldwin Baldwin? I don't know. I don't know any of that. But it's a sort of like you see Twin Peaks and Firewalk with me, and, and you know, she's sort of like, you know, Glenda the Good Witch kind of thing in with what Wild at Heart there at the end. And I just don't know. I don't. I, I'm sorry. I, yeah, maybe. You know, I think some of the Oscar stuff ends up being super political because it's like, oh, David Lynch is not doing stuff the way we want, so we're going to ignore his things. And that movie didn't do really well, so we're going to go with the really popular movie that everyone's going to think. And Jodie, Fun- I don't. It's probably a lot of that bullshit going on anyway. But if we're just talking about the movies themselves and what the characters had to go through. Cheryl Lee deserved it more than Jodie Foster. Cheryl Lee's career deserved, you know, if she was trying to to keep up working in a consistent and moving up the sort of latter way, Firewalk With Me should have just launched her into A-list, bar none anyway. So that, that was it. I was watching Vampires and watching her in it, and I'm like, man, she is acting outside. She's acting way above this movie. <laughs> Again, I really like John Carpenter. Uh, but, you know, we're not talking about the fog here. So, yeah, that's all I got. I'm just trying to give some love to Cheryl Lee. She, she's an amazing actress. And, again, uh, assuming that she had intended to have a, you know, uh, a rising sort of movie career or acting career in any way, she really deserved to, to blow up way more than she did. All right, that's all I got. Thanks. See you later.